Sock versus Lawlight, the winner's match in Group D. Winner here will get first place, will get the high seed, moving on into the playoffs, into the round of four. Lawlight historically definitely has been having the upper hand, 67% win rate against Sock. And has always been known to be really good against human. This matchup, one of his biggest strengths for Sock. We'll see how he's going to play up against this. As we start off on Concealed Hill. I think Chimiko yesterday had a real, co really cool opening build here. It was very standard for the most part. It was just the AM creeping level 2 from the two camps outside the main. And then creeping the natural. But creeping the natural pretty late. With like 8 peasants taking his time. Waiting well into night time. And waiting also for more footmen to pressure the archers. And then for the 8 peasants to turn into militia form. To creep the expansion mostly safely. Which I thought was a very nice play. And that's also how Chimiko was able to beat Moon. But was not able to beat Foggy, of course. Thank you, Tim der Krasse, with the eight month resub. Much appreciated. So, once again, we see the instant level two creep from the keeper. This is something that recently developed. Keeper creeps the giant sea turtle right away to get a fast level two, pick up two items, and then move into the middle of the map to continue to creep. Some humans always fast expand, no matter what, against Night Elf. Sock is not one of them. Sock sometimes will stay on one base, will go for a tier 2 timing push. But the norm is certainly a fast expo. Which Lolite will be scouting for and will be trying to harass when it's getting crept. Gloves and gauntlets for the AM, very average items. Sound? Hello? Okay, there's no sound anymore at the moment. Ah, there we go. And off we go. Sock creeping the natural much faster than we saw it yesterday from his countryman Chimiko. And Lolai with a super fast Calrex patch, by the way. Coming in for the harass. Sokka's gonna finish most of the camp. Oh, but the detonate was huge. He hit both water elementals. He got experience from both of them. Gonna get one peasant kill here as well. And Sokka's gonna have to call a new round of militia from the main. To finish this creep camp here. One footman almost going down. Is gonna fall here. More experience for the keeper. He's got the Cloak of Shadows as well. He's gonna hide here invisibly. And the expansion is close to finished. The Tree of Life. Peasants even get another, or Treans rather, get another peasant kill, which is nice. And this keeper is almost level 3 already. Sock definitely needs to get this kill here. On the Overseer. Otherwise he's not going to be level 3 himself. And there it is. Keeper level 3 from harassing, basically. One more footy is going to go down. And this is really, really good early game. Harassment by Lawliot. Experience and the big item from the Null will go to Sock, but now the Keeper's level 3 can go for a Tele Staff, get back to the Moonwells, heal up fully, and then it's gonna be a lot of entangles leading to a lot of footy kills, potentially. There's no Nature's Blessing yet, of course, with all light not having tier 2 yet. So the expansion is going to be a little more frail. And the Keeper is back at it again with the Entangle. Entangle and two right clicks. And that's a footy kill. A player's forces are under attack. Sock seems to know, though, that there's something going on across the map. The Keeper is trying to harass. Or uh, the AM will be trying to harass as well. 
two more footies going down right here. Keeper finding so many kills. Oh, but the AM has figured it out. Wait, where's the shield life? Oh, it's in the corner. Lala is hiding it in the corner. And Sock hasn't figured it out yet. Tavern hero, I think. A player's forces are under attack. So Panda? Naga. Oh, okay. Lol Eye with the Keeper Naga again. I'm still a big, big fan of Keeper Naga Demon, triple hero. That can be hard to make work if there's not too many creeps on the map and the demon is not able to level up to three. But here, currently, we still have lots and lots of creeps on this map. Alright, our light starts creeping now. The yeah, AM not really in position to do anything about it. So this is gonna be a pretty safe creep. It's gonna be a fast level 2 for the Naga. Wisp repair is in position as well. Fast tier 3 by Law Lyot. But the lore is gonna get cancelled. Not willing to invest 3 Wisp detonates to get rid of the water elemental. That's a big delay. Staff. Not gonna get interrupted. Couldn't he have entangled there? Maybe. I am trying to do as much damage as he can, but with only Archmage and Water Elemental. Only so much you can do. But he gets one Archer, okay. He knows the Keeper's in the main, so doesn't have to be forced into the TP here. Was killing some more Wisps. And Sok's doing a good job. Doing quite a bit with very little. It's oftentimes the difficulty for human in the early mid game when the keeper gets level 3 and you're still waiting for your tier 2 to finish. It's very hard to be effective with your army as the keeper can quite easily find plenty of footy kills. And of course, the Knight of has full map control. Now I got the Talisman of Invasion, which is not the greatest. But level 2.5 is a really good jump start here for her as far as experience goes. Keeper with the Tele Stab is gonna. Bounce around the map, trying to deal with this AM harass. Gonna get a bit of experience from these water elementals as well. Oh, and Sokka's gonna bring in the handful of footies that he has here. For a bit of a creep jack, I think. The light goes for the shredder. Lots of lumber for the late game. Does not want to lose this shredder. I don't think he will. Lose an archer, okay. Alchemist second. Interesting. Haven't seen that in a while. No Blood Mage, who was very popular recently. Blood Mage, you usually want to play against melee heroes on the other side. The ranged heroes are much harder to siphon, so Blood Mage here not chosen because he would be ineffective. Other than that, we also see a lot of MK second. But MK can have big problems against a Demon Hunter third later with Mana Burn. And normally, when we saw this Alchemist before, it seemed to work the best with Tri-Hero. Alchemist creeps level 3, and then third hero, Blood Mage, comes in to supply with more and more mana with Siphon. And in fact, Sock is going tier 3. Recently, it was mostly only tier 2 by the humans. But Sock now trying tier 3. Gonna have to wait for some time here. To get his big upgrades out. Lola is tier 3 already. A player's forces are under attack. But doesn't have a third hero yet. Nice Ogre Lord pull. Lola is of course the king of creeping. Gonna get a big item here. Didn't see it. Okay. Uh, Medallion of Courage. Which is okay. For a demon hunter actually. It could be really good. Pit Lord. What? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Keeper Naga Pit Lord? Oh, and that creep jack is gonna be painful. Sock goes for the lab creep, but the AM is nowhere close by. One footy goes down right away, level four on the keeper. He's gonna have to evacuate with a zap. Oh my god, if that one had gotten ensnared, it could have been pretty stressful. Ooh, the 
the shredder. Close to falling, but will not go down. Oh, staff on cooldown. That's unfortunate. It's going to cost him the TP. Oh my god, dude. Ooh. 3 HP on that AM. Okay, so... Blood Mage could be super good against Pit Lord. Pit Lord has a low mana pool. You just siphon him for a couple of seconds. And then... No Rain of Fire anymore. But I guess he's trying to bank on Cleave? But Heal Spray is pretty good against Cleave. Very, very interesting. And Sok is going for Knights as well. Knights and Priests. He's not even going Sorks so far. If he doesn't go Sorks, then Fairy Dragons aren't that big of a problem. Fairy Dragons really do the most damage against Sorks. Against Priests, it's not that terrible. Yeah, good point. Chims by Lolai would be crazy. Crazy effective here, but he doesn't have them yet. Alright, and Sok comes in for the attack. He brought towers as well. The army here doesn't look the biggest, although there's something trailing behind. Not sure if he has a third hero now. I think he does. Tinker! What? What is this strat? Priest, knights, alchemist, tinker. Oh, the one of illusion is going to soak up so much damage here. Tower's getting cancelled. Pocket factory so far, not too effective. A lot of rejuves were coming in here. Heal spray against reju. What's going to have more to spell? Priest mana, pretty low. I think they dispelled some of the rejuve though. But rejuve on the... Hitlord is still running. Tango on the Alchemist gets out of it. With another Invul Potion. Last heal spray coming through, but it seems like the bears are holding this. Oh my god, so much rejuve. Double rejuve. And yeah, the light's gonna hold this. He certainly is. And Sok calls for the GG. I. Had never seen that kind of strat before. So it was an early tier 3 knight's triple hero timing push. Well. But the bears, the new bears, the double rejuve bears, so, so strong. And couldn't deal with all the raw and rejuve. I guess he was hoping for the priest to have enough to spell to deal with all of that, but it was not quite enough. Interesting strat by, by Sock. I wonder if he feels that just something went wrong right there, that he could have done better, or... Um, or if he's going to give up on that strategy. was certainly the first time that I saw this and Lol Eyed again doing it in style. Keeper, Naga, Pit Lord. Not with Rain of Fire, but with Howl of Terror. Howl of Terror and Cleave. I don't even think he got to level three that game. But the Cleave against the Knights is not bad. Did we even see Inner Fire? He did have Master Training, but I'm not sure if he used the Inner Fire. Cleave is really good against uh, Inner Fire at Knights because Cleave ignores Armor. Maybe for that reason he chose it. But the Bears just seem to be coming out on top there anyways. One-on-one -on -one against the Knights. Quite the unusual game there. Quite the unusual late game transition we saw by both on map one. Lolliot takes the lead, gets match point, and moves on to last refuge for map two.
which is going to be a neutral hero build. We're going to have a panda here. That is pretty much the norm. Some night elves still play keeper here, but almost everyone plays panda. Uh, wait, not panda. What am I saying? Beastmaster. Sorry. B -b 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 Beastmaster. And then creep the merc camp with a bear early on. That's the big advantage. That's what the Beastmaster does better than anyone else. Being able to creep this merc camp early, get level two and a half, almost, and get the big item, and get the mercenary support. Creep up level three, expand, and then pressure heavily with, at some point, a second hero joining in, which nowadays is most of the time a Naga. Thank you very much, Torben Dietrich, with a five-month resub. Much appreciated. A gentleman's agreement here between the two. They're going to leave each other alone in the beginning. Creep the Merc camp. Get the level two. And then go from there. This item can make a huge difference. It's a big level 4 permanent item, which uh, is rarely able to be crept so uh, early into the game. But here it is, with Ancient of War on one side, with Militia on the other. Especially the primary attribute is extremely good, so Robo the Magi for the AM is crazy strong. But it's the Aura for some. Lionhorn of Stormwind, also good. Lionhorn is always good. I'm gonna pick up some tomes as well. Row the Magi for the Beastmaster. That's also very good. Bonus intelligence for him is gonna mean more mana region, more summons, and more moon juice for him over the course of this game. Yesterday, by Colorful and Moon, we saw that they were creeping the natural with the Ancient of War, trying to not take any damage on the units or summons. But here the lie doesn't really care. Just gonna creep the natural right away. Not gonna wait for the Ancient of War to do that. And then probably gonna try to expand. Oh, Sock is teching! Not gonna go for the fast expansion, as we see it most of the time. Gonna get his level 3 with the Militia while he's on his way over. And Lolli isn't level 3 yet. I think he still needs a Watch Elemental Kill or something. But now he got it. Just a second ago. Question is Bear or Quill Beast? And the answer shall be Bear. If there's a Bash, the Shadow Priest is dead. Oh, gets the Bash. But there were two Dispels, so... Bear now almost dead. And all I was just creeping up here at the green in the meantime. Beastmaster taking a good bit of damage. Moon juice not looking perfect. The next Shadow Priest comes in, he's gonna have more abolish, and that should be now a pretty easy hold for Lawlight. Not even using the abo Okay, there it is. There's the abolish. Two Shadow Priests, lots of dispel. And Lawlight holds this pretty easily, I gotta say. Summons the I'll bear again, looking for more bashes, attack. looking for more kills. Hunter's Hall might be a little bit late, though. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to go for the Lords right away. But instead, a second hero might be also a worthy choice. So if the light goes for a Naga second, he can creep the middle camps pretty well. He bought boots? What? Boots on the Beastmaster? As you guys know, I'm a big fan of boots. Especially boots on Demon, boots on Naga, boots on MK. Really good. 
boots on a Beastmaster. Hmm. There's pretty much three choices for second hero for Lawlight, Team Hunter, Panda, or Naga. But since it's Lawlight, who knows? Maybe it's gonna be a Pit Lord again. Boots for the Naga would be really good. And also for the Demon, pretty good. Even for the Panda, actually, it can be good. So, honestly, for the second hero, I think these boots can be really strong. I don't think it's... Super good for Beastmaster, honestly. No second hero yet. Wait a minute. A player's forces are under attack. It's not like playing solo Beastmaster. I am quite intrigued, chat. I am quite intrigued. Bloodman's gonna get a fast level 2. It's kinda weird that Lawlight, with his early mercs and summons, didn't get at least one of the middle camps. One of the merchants. He's gonna go for that one now. Lots of bonus experience here for Lawlight. He's about to get tier 3, sold some items. Oh, last hit stolen! AM steals the last hit with the right click, pretty cool. Tier 3 is not finished yet. Level 2 Quill Beast being summoned as well. Oh my god, dude, look at this zoo. So many units. Scroll of the Beast use. I'm not sure if we can even fight with the Scroll of the Beast. Priests are getting sniped super quickly if they are in range. Heal scroll used by Lawlight. Now trying to chase down for these kills. The boots are pretty nice. But he's getting banished a lot, so... Not able to find these kills quite. There it is. Banish again. It's going to be very hard to heal up this Beastmaster now. Definitely needs Rejuve. And the moon juice is uh, almost completely dry. And suck with the good old one base push. Might be winning this game here. Lawlight's army is non existent. It's got a couple of mercs, but doesn't have the bears yet, which is what he really needs. Beastmaster shows up, he's out of mana. Can't. Summon anything at the moment. Roar! Oh, good roar! That bear just barely gets off his spells before getting siphoned and banished. There are a couple of dispels. Oh, the AM in the front line in trouble. Lots of banish being used. Shadow Priest quickly going down. But Lola, I micro the Shadow Priest very well. He got as much value out of them as he could, and gets level 5. Must be Quill Beast here, I guess. Oh, he didn't skill it, skill it quickly enough. Blood Mage gets level 3. And this push for Sock is still looking pretty good. Bash Bear. Alright. Mana Potion Bash Bear. Is that gonna be good enough? He's gonna get banished again. Wisp also coming in for the detonate. Bash Bear blinking forward. Gets banished instantly again. One tower is going to get cancelled, but two mercs go down for Lawlight. Game is starting to look worse and worse for the Night Elf here. Lawlight oh, just doesn't have any army. Doesn't really have any damage. Bear is very tanky, but at some point the Bash Bear will be killed. At some point. Blood Mage is working out wonderfully. So many banishes, so much siphon mana. Lolite really wants this Berserker kill. But he doesn't have an Orb of Venom. Maybe he didn't have the gold earlier, but he really needed that Orb of Venom. Holding on still with the bears. Can he still win this? Got a new Clarity Potion. 
I can summon a bear again soonish. Still no orb. Losing the shop would be very painful. Lolli needs that shop. He's got the bash bear and he's got the normal bears. But still no orb of venom. Siphon mana used right away. Beastmaster out of mana once more. Healstore committed by Sock early on. Lots of wisps coming out for the detonate. These mana burns and dispels could be a really big deal. Oh, bash. The berserker finally dies. It took forever. But finally the berserker will fall. Oh, the bear blocking against the blood mage. Blocking with a wisp as well. And the blood mage might be going down. Dispelling right away against the banish. He has no mana anymore. If there's a blink, he's dead! Oh, and that's level 6! Suddenly! And the AM dies as well! AM was getting killed by another bear! What the hell happened? GG!